Welcome to the R&I educational series. We are going to be helping you understand how our ergonomic portable lifters can be incorporated into your workplace. The first of our series is we're going to start with our uh, aluminum workstation pallets and why we use these and how these will interface with the lifter when it's being used in your workspace and how the material will flow onto your machine or off of your machine. This is to illustrate how a standard 48 by 40 wooden pallet sitting on the floor does not allow for access for the lifter legs to get underneath the pallet to be able to reach the load on top of the pallet. We have set up an example of how the aluminum pallet will work with your wooden pallet in the workspace. Here we have set up an aluminum pallet that has four posts on the corners of the pallet, and you just place your wooden pallet straight on top of the aluminum pallet. The reason we make the pallet out of aluminum is that it's very lightweight, so then you can move it if it needs to be moved within the workspace without having to get a forklift or a pallet jack. We have clearance underneath the pallet for the lifter legs, and we base this height of the pallet depending upon what lifter that we provide a quotation to you for. The wooden pallet sits on top of the aluminum pallet. So this aluminum pallet can stay in position. It does not need to be moved around. You can just place this in position and just continually take the wooden pallet on and off as you bring material into the workspace or out of the workplace. We've set up four rolls on the pallet to kind of show you some different positions that the lifter can get to. So we've got an example of a lifter and you can see how easy it is to move it underneath. So if I wanted to come to this roll here in the corner, I have easy access to get that roll and to be able to go away and go to the machine, or whether I need to load this roll onto this pallet, it's very easy for me to load that. The same thing, you can work your way around the pallet, going into the sides very easily, to work, with, work your way around, go into the back, and then again, if you also need to get to the other side, and let's say you have a roll in the middle of the pallet, we can set up the lifter so that it will allow you to reach to the middle roll and be able to take it off as well. On the aluminum pallets, we can offer you a rotate turntable if the pallet needs to be up against the wall or in a corner where you cannot get to all four sides of the pallet, the 360 degree turntable will allow you to rotate that product around to whatever position is accessible in the workspace. We have 90 degree detent pin on it, a locking pin, so you can rotate that pallet and it'll stay in position in every 90 degree position. The pallet, this one is a slightly shorter one, it will still allow with four posts on the corners, and still will allow you clearance to any position depending upon where this pallet is placed in your workplace. So now we have placed the wooden pallet on top of the rotate ring with aluminum pallet beneath. We have put a drum here on the corner so that you can see when you, you're able to come over with a lifter and access this from the side or from the corner. And with the detent pin, you're able to pull. And if you need to get to the next drum, you can access the next drum as you're rotating it around. Now we will show you accessing the, the drum with our squeeze-o-turn. So you come into position and you place the fixed arm in, 
on the drum, hit the squeeze button. And now you're able to lift the drum from the pallet and take it over to the hopper for dumping. Places only a pallet jack is bringing materials to the work area, and you need a forklift to normally bring the, the wooden pallet on top of the aluminum pallet. So we do have a final option, and that is to provide a V-shaped leg so that you can access the corners of the pallet. As you can see here, we have our squeezer turn uh, mounted with uh, V-shaped legs, so that if I were to come and access this drum from the corner of the pallet, I can drive into the corner. Put the squeeze to turn in place, and I'm able to take the drum away from the pallet and take it to a hopper.